It will use UVI's DEF CON, plus the tools provided with its parent UVI workstation sampler, to build up a slamming commercial house track. And we've also used some Choice CM plugins to process our sound. All of these come free with issue 201 of Computer Music Magazine. For this track we've used Ableton Live 9 as our door and all the accompanying audio and project files are provided with CM201 as well. And to follow along with us you can download a fully functional demo of Live 9 from the Ableton website. So let's begin by opening our initial project, which is somewhat of a sketch pad. Here we've used Live Session View and we've selected some of DEF CON's high quality onboard sounds and manipulated them to create some inspiring sounds and effects for our composition. So to start we set our project's BPM to 126 and we built our initial stab riff by loading up our first instance of DEF CON and we drew in this simple two bar riff pattern on its track. And what we've done inside DEF CON, we've used two separate parts to layer four different elements together, which all combine to create this thick melodic riff. The core layer of this part is a distinctive old school disco style stab. Layered with a high arpeggiated riff. And we've used the same elements across the other DEF CON part, but we've pitched these an octave apart from the previous to give us a really thick sound in combination. And it sounds a little messy, so effects wise we've added some drive and EQ with Premix CM. And then we've used some more EQ afterwards with IIEQ Pro CM to add crunchy character and then clean up the sound. And we've side chained it here too against the kick, but we'll get onto that later. And now for added texture, we've then duplicated this track over to another MIDI channel. And we changed the DEF CON patch on this track to more of a rave style piano, which complements our original part nicely. So now let's check out the bass line that underpins our riff. We've used another DEF CON instance and we've selected this distorted guitar-like patch. And again we've used Premix CM for some grit and gentle EQ. So instead of using the loops as they come straight out of the instrument, we've used our MIDI notes to program our own custom riffs in. So we've now got our simple but effective lead riff and bass, so we then created some accompanying melodies that can come in and out of our arrangement at a later point. So there's this horn patch, What we've done is we've used some of the brilliant onboard effects that are built into UVI's workstation. 
So on this sound, we've got a delay, we've got a phaser, and then some guitar distortion. And they're all adding character and movement to this sound. And here's another part, we've got this high delaying riff, which again, has some choice onboard effects applied. And there's also this epic horn sound, which may come in handy to switch up our arrangement later. Again, more effects from UVI Workstation give us more character and spaciness over our other elements. And then we've got another cool little delaying piano part here that we've created. So it's good to have all these other parts that we've created that we'll be able to use later when we're piecing the actual arrangement together. And we've also created two sound effect noises. So we've taken a very basic noise effect from DEF CON's content. And we've added some, some drive and some really huge reverb on the sound. So later we'll export these out as audio. And we'll use them creatively to add some ear candy to our track. So now we built up our drum elements, again only using DEF CON's high quality factory content. So on this track we drew a MIDI note on each beat, and then we layered together three of DEF CON's drum layers. So we've got a kick sample, then there's a hi-hat, and then a splashier tambourine. And inside DEF CON, we've high passed the kick to remove the lowest sub frequencies. And then on the overall track, we've cut out some of the boxy mids using IIEQ Pro CM. Next, we made a simple percussion loop on a new channel. So we've high passed a kick and snare groove here. And then we mixed in this hi-hat loop using the onboard tuning and high pass filters. Then Premix CM controls the dynamics of this loop to prevent spikiness. And then we created another section here where we looped our MIDI notes over just to remove the clap for later use in the track. And to finish off our simple drums, there's another skipping hi-hat loop from a new instance of DEF CON. And then there's an on-beat ride as well. And again, we've tuned and filtered these inside DEF CON and then added some drive as well.
And for a final touch, we created this breakbeat loop in another new instance of DEF CON uh, using some different drum elements. Again, we've pitched the parts around just to give us some character. And then we've used some effects to give us a little more weight and add our own stamp on the, on the part. And as you can probably hear, we've added a lot of sidechain compression on different elements. So we've used our kick drum to trigger that compression to give us that pumping house sound. So this was our initial main groove to kick start the track. So then we wanted to create some more variation on this simple theme. So we took our lead riff notes and then we shortened them in a duplicate MIDI region. And we tweaked these lengths of the notes just to emphasize the gaps in between. And you can hear the difference that has. And then for a third variation, we made another riff pattern with lots of extra shorter stuttering notes, like so. So that's our original project that we created our parts in. So we use live session view here, as you can see, to build these parts up. So what we then did, we exported all of our DEF CON parts out as new audio files. And you'll find those in the tutorial files folder. And this then made it easier to build up the composition in a fresh project without the worry of CPU overload. So let's open that arrangement project now. You can see the overall layout of the track and how we've pieced these parts together to create a really simple but effective DJ friendly arrangement. So we imported the drum tracks first. We grouped them all to a single drum group channel here. And then we sent our drum signal to our first return track. And on this return, we have an instance of premix CM being driven quite hard. And when slightly blended with our main drum group, we get some transparent parallel saturation that adds some subtle extra weight to our beats. And then we've slightly limited our drum group to catch the spiky clap layer and even out our dynamics a little. And we then duplicated our kick drum to a muted track, purely to use as a trigger for sidechain compression in the arrangement. Now in the end, we could have used our actual kick instead of this trigger, but it's useful to still use this sidechain trigger, just so you can duck elements out of the way during breakdowns when your actual kick isn't playing. It's good to have the option anyway. So we then added our two effect parts into the track. We added a delay to our first effect using Wolfram CM, just for some more spaciness. And then we duplicated this element to another track and reversed it to give us a sucking rise sweep leading into key sections.
and we transposed some of these elements at different points as well. And, and we also muted the delay on the reverse copy, just so it completely cuts out before it drops in, rather than carrying over. And our second effect was also reversed at points and used in the arrangement. And then we grouped these three effect tracks together to one overall group, and then sidechained it subtly against the trigger kick. So now onto the lead riff. We've used Vengeance's Filter CM to low pass filter the riff in and out throughout the arrangement. Just to give us that filtered slightly disco vibe. And then over our drop sections, we've then added the top piano just to thicken things out and give us more impact. Musically, the track really isn't that complicated. It's pretty basic. So we've also used our extra melody parts throughout the track to come in and out and add interest to our lead riff theme. So we've added parts and dropped some out roughly every eight bars. At one point we took one of these riffs and we used Live's clip effects to shorten its notes slightly. And we chopped it up a bit just to give us some more character, just to fit it in the track a bit better. So then really it was a case of using the riff and bass variations to change the feel of the track here and there. So it initially drops in with our longer notes. And then after 16 bars, we switch to the shorter notes. And then we used our faster riff notes in the breakdown section. And during the breakdown, this also combined with the breakbeat, provide a welcome change to the vibe of the track. And we also took the breakbeat and created a little snare roll build up just to lead into the second drop. One noteworthy section is the small jungle style pitched edit in the breakdown. This was fairly easy to do in live. We simply chopped and repeated a section of our riff and we turned it up a bit as well, just to that point. Then we did the same over the top with a snare hit from the breakbeat loop. So we just put them on the same notes and then pitched the hits around. So 
it's really got that rave jungle style edit there. At the end of the track, we've automated the transpose down on our breakbeats clip, just to give us some cool pitching down at the end to show us that we're finishing off the track. And then we chopped out the final snare and time stretched it, just to give us this real pitch down effect. And it's quite a cool effect, this final snare. So what we did, we copied this hit back to just before our second drop, just to give us a bit of a weird effect before it kicks back in. A few more subtle touches that we added. We used Eurydice CM over our lead group at a couple of edit points, just for a slightly weird delay effect whilst the riff's filtering. And on our master channel, we also used a high pass filter to remove some bass just before key drop sections to give us some more impact when it kicks back in. To give us more interest in the arrangement to make some simple edits, we just removed a bar or two of the kick and the sidechain kick too. So when the kick comes out, it opens up the sidechaining and then has more impact when it drops back in again. And so our track was pretty much finished. It didn't take long to make because we had all the inspiring sounds there already. And mix wise, we'd really already used choice sound selection and processing earlier on in the process. So really minimal effects were applied for a final mix. And we also used some extra delay and reverb on some of the extra melody parts here and there just for some subtle interest and width. And finally we used Barricade CM over our master channel just to limit the track. And so there we have it. This is an example of how you can use UVI's DEF CON instrument to really create a professional club track. And as we mentioned before, you can get DEF CON exclusively free with both the digital and print editions of Computer Music Magazine, issue 201.